had to dump to start off. It's 10.30 a.m. I'm already late, but that's the line we're looking at. Once that's done, I'm off. 20 thrift stores in one day. That's the goal for today, but I got started late, so we'll see what happens. So uh, my ATM ate my card last night, and I didn't realize it because I walked away without it. So got to go to the bank and take care of that first. So who knows how many thrift stores I'm going to be able to hit today. Slow start. All right, bank run is done. So we are pulling into our first thrift store. It is the Ark of Spokane. What's really cool about these thrift stores is um, I can go to 20 of them in a day and I, I'm gonna throw up a map here and show you where they're at. This is one of the biggest benefits of living in a mid-sized city versus a large city, especially when you're flipping stuff, is that you can uh, go to them and they're really close together for the most part and you can actually get to them. Whereas like in Seattle or a big city, the traffic and distance, it would take too long to even think about going this many in one day. Number one. All right, so we're looking here for in the thrift stores is mostly furniture and pottery and little pieces. I've got like a, uh, the lamp's not bad. We've got like a vintage fair coming up, so I'm looking for more little pieces. Those are bad. 25 bucks, they're a little cheap. See, I could. This is more. These are chrome crafts, but they're a hundred bucks. They've got a lot of furniture, but it is too expensive for me to even want to think about flipping. All right, so they've got good furniture and a good selection, but the reality is, is it's just priced too high. What that store specifically is good for is when there's something that's like high end that's $300 there but would sell for like a thousand. For store number two. Twelve ninety five. These are solid. So as you can see, those chairs have a little bit of scratch marks to them. But for twelve ninety nine for the pair, you're not going to beat that. I'm going to sell that one local. I'm not taking it to Seattle. I'm probably going to sell it for like fifty or sixty bucks. Still a good deal for what I'm selling it for. That was just a crazy deal. Still relatively nice chairs. Fifth store, number three. for this weird and the prices are just pretty high on this one but they sometimes have like really good stuff not today and even today the books here are pretty pretty overpriced by a lot seven dollars $13. So I did get this for Savannah. Excuse all the stuff around here. It is this. You can brew tea inside of it as I almost break it. <laughs> and yeah, it's got this kind of cool engraving. Hopefully she likes it. Here's store number four. This one is one of the most expensive ones in town, but sometimes it has those high-end items they are still selling for a lot. They go for like quite a lot. A vintage section, they sell t-shirts for like 20 bucks. Good t-shirts though. This is like their thrift furniture section. Typically doesn't have a lot. Cool 
chair. The problem is there's not four of them in, in terrible shape. I'm also looking for vintage art. It's actually like signed oil paintings. Don't see me here. Nice unicorn lamp. And here's their like vintage section. Not bad stuff. 180. 100. And they actually do have a lot of like cool home goods stuff, but again, it's priced like they know what it's worth. It's probably the only thing worth in the store. Don't think I'm gonna get it still. Alright, we are at thrift store number five. Goodwill. Goodwill's super hit and miss. They overpriced a lot of stuff and then they underpriced some stuff. Had an okay look at this one. Um, so let's try it out. specific Goodwill it actually doesn't have bad prices, it just doesn't have good furniture right now. Good. Nice. Savannah's here. What's this? Nice. Gym Shark? Yep. Nice. Gym Shark. Nice. Oh, my shirt. Yeah, and you're scrunchy. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. like... So that's really cool. It's signed. Very neat. Big booms. All right, done with Goodwill. Probably going to hit up lunch, and then I'll be back to it. All right, let's show Savannah what the gift I got her. Oh. Wait, I'll put it up. You can brew tea in it. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. Nice. <laughs> she loves me. Oh. Nice. Sushi special. So now we're at the Goodwill and Goodwill Outlet. It's two different stores, so I'm counting this is six and seven. We're going to the bins first, baby. Our, um... We spent twenty-five dollars. All the stuff we got. Wife actually got a bunch of stuff to flip. I want to show you just baby stuff. Uh, I guess I'll show you a little bit, but this is one of the only good things I really got. Gonzaga, Nike, large seems to be in really solid shape. Most of the stuff is for me. I don't really flip stuff from there because I'll tell you a story in the car. I also got a pretty sick jersey, it's a Reebok jersey, double XL. It's gonna look great on me. Number seventy-one. And then I think I can save these Nike blazers. We will see. I might flip those. I just, I used to flip a lot of shoes, so I do know those have a good amount of value. And then I have this REI sweater as well. It's an REI sweater. All right, we are behind schedule pretty bad. Um, it's almost 3 p.m. It's 2, 2.20. Um, I don't like the Goodwill bin so much because like that painting, that was like a sick painting, probably original oil two girls cut me off really hard trying to get to something and a guy scurried around them and grabbed it and it's it's cool to go in there if you're looking for your own clothes because it's so cheap and you can get cool stuff for yourself i don't like to go in there to flip because there's mostly people in there flipping most like most people in there are there to resell and um the majority of people i'm pretty sure most people there could not hold down a regular job so this is what they do for money it's not bad to do for money but it's like your 
competing with folks that are borderline homeless and they're if you're not there to just like i need it if you're not there to like compete then um and i'm not there to compete like i've got others i flip bigger things i refinish furniture i'm not trying to shove somebody out of the way for like a 30 dollar hoodie right that you can get for like a buck so I'm good on that, but I did find some good stuff for me. The good little attached to it didn't have anything good. And we're gonna go, we're only on number seven. We're way behind. I have 13 more I'm gonna try to hit today. We'll see if I can get this done. All right, we are at number eight. For some reason, this parking lot is always full. People literally just wait for people to stop and get out. And also the prices aren't great. I have very low expectations for this one. They've got stuff, the prices are just bad. Like 199 for this. Couch is kind of neat. 120. Get out of here. Get out of here. That's an old couch. It's grandma's couch. Let me actually be back for this. It's 120. Kind of nice, kind of not nice. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Tucked in the back, I actually found this guy. Very nice. I'm gonna be honest, I always leave there feeling a little irritated. Um, but that's the reason you go, not the irritation, but the, the dresser I got. That's a $125 dresser. I'll probably sell it right around $550. Needs to be sanded down and stained, but that's why I go to so many, even ones I don't really like, like that one. Uh, and the reason I mainly don't like that one is the prices are fairly high and really inconsistent. One thing can be like twice as much as I'd sell it for, and then another thing can be way lower than I'd sell it for, and the people are generally kind of not the nicest that work there and they have a policy against helping you like in any way for their like liability insurance um doesn't stop other thrift stores in town from helping you but it stops them so that's annoying but we got some good so i can't say too much bad about it i guess i'm gonna genuinely be surprised if i get over 15 at this point it's nearing 3 p.m and i'm on my ninth so not the best time wise. I really got sucked into looking for a pair of shoes at that Goodwill where uh, the Goodwill bends. I found one really nice North Face shoe. It was like a North Face hiking shoe, brand new condition. It's like a left shoe. And I spent like 15 to 20 minutes looking for the right shoe. And then a guy came up to me and was like, yeah, those have been in the bins for three days now. And it's just the one. So got got there. Thrift shop number nine, Veterans Thrift Store in the Valley. Let's go. This is one of the weirder ones. Generally, I don't think I've found any furniture here, but they do have good clothing and sometimes pottery. But I always gotta check the furniture. They do have good prices. All right, what do we got here? Eighty dollars. Pass. All right, we're going to the second arc. This one has just opened, but it's already gave me something good. So, all right, going to the second arc. Let's see what's in here. Not the best, not the worst price. Not a very good price, but I've seen worse. Bad if I needed a shelf, 40 bucks. I don't. All right, end of the 10th thrift store, and day is not going as good as I would like, but got a few good things. Can't complain. All right, we're at number 11. We are at the Salvation Army in the Valley, and I'm feeling better. Alright, 
done with number 11. The next two are generally better ones that I do. Um, I just didn't do them first this time because I'm trying to get the quickest I can through these. And that just means these are towards the end, not towards the beginning. All right, number 12, New Mission Gospel in the Valley. This one generally has better stuff. Low expectations. I used to do a lot of these, but I used to get these for free and just sand them down and paint them. And not really worth 125. Still make money on it, but like people don't love this style anymore. I got this guy. This is an oil painting. Thankfully, I got this one. I missed out on the one in the Goodwill bins, and that Goodwill bins one was probably two bucks. This one is still super nice. And then I got this as well. Excuse the mess in the car. I'm pretty sure this was hand thrown. I gotta actually look and see what this is, but it's a super cool mug either way for three bucks. Hi, right, next to New Thrift Store, this is a very small one. The prices are amazing. And this is number 13. I got these cool books, um, vintage flying over Holland books, which is 50 cents, super cool. I'll go in the vintage fair I'm doing for sure. Life, Nature, Library, The Forest, also going to the vintage fair that I'm, I'm going to be a part of. Super cool, might keep that one. And this, I think it's a decanter, 389, it was handmade in 1983, super neat on that one. And then I got two vintage paintings or oil. These ones are hand done too, so I'm actually winning on the paintings today, which is nice because I did lose that one and I was really bummed about it actually. And that cost a total of, that's not the receipt, one sec. And the total on that one was $24.69 for all that. All right, number 14, let's go. All right, please stop your family, please stop your family. Let's go. All right, that's what we're looking for right there. So I immediately went and said I wanted to buy it because I can't carry it around with me and I want it. This is like an amazing find. Awesome price on that dresser. We're probably looking at over a thousand dollars of profit today, which is awesome. No complaints here. A little bummed earlier in the day, especially when we missed out on that oil painting, but now we have three oil paintings, and that makes me happy. All right, this is number 15 or 16. I'll have to go back and check which one it is because I started to forget. These. I don't know why people love these so much, but they do. I kind of do. The cool vintage. Actually, kind of sick. So these. I grab those for sure. Cool. All right, we're at number 16. It's the HRC Ministries thrift store. Uh, most like Christian run thrift stores are pretty great. Uh, this one tends to be more expensive. I've never actually flipped anything from here before, but since we're doing so many today, I figured why not. 
All right, I wanted to finish the video after I had sold most of those things. I sold the two chairs for 80 bucks. I sold the two flower paintings for 80 bucks each. I sold the tall boy dresser that was oak for 650 and I sold the one I found at Valley Village for $500. And then all the other stuff either hasn't sold or I just put it in like a vintage store so they could sell it for me. If you're into flipping things, just going to a bunch of thrift stores or a bunch of garage sales is, is pretty much always worth it because eventually just by the numbers, you're gonna find something good. Also, I'm gonna be making a lot more videos and I'm making a little space for here. So if you wanna see all that and what this space turns into, give me a subscribe.